Hello, my name's Phil the Rope and I'd like to tell you a little about my decorative rope work courses. Courses can range from a couple of hours in the evening, half a day, a full day, or two days, normally over a weekend. I am a member of the International Guild of Knot Tires, an educational charity dedicated to keeping old traditions alive. And anyone attending any course, whether it be a couple of hours or a two-day course, will receive a free copy of the IGKT, that's the International Guild of Knot Tires, promotional disc. And there's all sorts of little goodies on here, including a few videos. Anyone attending a course of one day or longer will also receive this DVD, Get Knotted, Create a Bell Rope, which they can study at their leisure. Those attending a two-day course will also receive this Knots Made Easy DVD, fabulous videos produced by Richard Phelan back in the 1990s. There are over 90 minutes of instructional video here. It's a super DVD. These DVDs will be offered to people attending shorter courses at half price anyway, so nobody needs lose out. Let's have a look at some of the simple stuff we can make. And I guarantee most people will find this really quite easy. The secret to tying decorative knots is patience. Once you've learned to tie a knot, it's the tightening up that takes the time. And as long as you take your time over this, it'll be easy. An old favourite, the dragonfly. I've seen a young child tie one of these in large rope. It was about six foot long, which we placed outside our knot tie intent to attract customers. On a cold winter's day, when you can't get your fingers on your zipper for your jacket, how about a zip pull? Very, very easy to make. A very simple Turk's head tied round a cylinder. And by the time you've finished the course, you'll be tying Turk's heads in your sleep. I will supply lots and lots of patterns for Turk's heads and as long as you follow the patterns you will tie some wonderful ones. This is the same Turk's head that we just saw tied around a cylinder. Slide it off, flatten it out and you've got a coaster. Your imaginative juices are starting to flow now aren't they? The same Turk's heads tied in yellow cord some different Turk's heads tied round a broom handle. Very similar to a Turk's head. This is a pineapple knot tied with several strands or leads as opposed to the one lead we used in the Turk's heads. And you'd be surprised how easy it is to tie something like this and the effect is quite pleasing. A pineapple knot tied round the handle of a mallet Three examples of French hitching. Again, these are not difficult and tied over a post, broom handle, whatever. Quite attractive, I think. Some French hitching on a pencil and the end covered up with our old friend, the Turk's head. More French hitching with a small Turk's head at each end. A lanyard for holding a badge. Very, very easy to make. And you can see there, three Turks heads. That's all it took. Something practical. A dog lead. Consists of an eye splice at each end. And you'll notice we've covered part of the dog lead up with, you guessed it, some Turks heads. 
some slightly more complicated stuff, but as long as you follow the pattern and have the patience to tighten things slowly, you can produce a Kringle mat, just like this. Here's the same Kringle mat, but tied in something bigger. The previous Kringle mat could be used as a coaster. This is big enough to use as a doormat. The ever popular monkey's fist. Here's a monkey's fist tied round a wooden ball to create a key ring. The same monkey's fist, this time tied in white cord around a wooden ball. Make super little presents, these. Perhaps you could use them for fundraising. Or how about wedding favours? Especially if you've got a nautical theme for your wedding. This monkey's fist is about seven inches across and it was tied with climbing rope around a heavy object and this I use as a doorstop. Here's a trilobite bar or trilobite bar designed by J.D. Lenson in America and the IGKT CD that I mentioned at the beginning has videos kindly supplied by JD teaching how to tie things like this. JD's site is a fantastic site and once you visit it you won't want to leave. Another one of JD's creations. And another. JD's two colour trilobite bar, this time used to create a bracelet. Something perhaps a little more complicated, a bell rope or perhaps you could use it as a light pull. And the four knots that we use to create this bell rope are covered in detail on the DVD, get knotted, create a bell rope. But there's no reason why, on one of the longer courses, we can't learn to tie these knots anyway. The secret, as always, is patience and practice. This bell rope looks rather more complicated to make than it actually is. Probably the most difficult knot here is the one at the end that covers a ball to finish off the bell rope. But you follow the pattern, take your time, you'll do it. Two decorated cider bottles. The knot in here is again quite simple, although having said that it will take hours and hours to produce something like this. So it's probably not the sort of thing we can cover in a course, or well, we certainly can't make during the course but we can learn what's required so that when we get home we can do it. A couple of small covered bottles. Again, these take quite a long time to complete, but there's no reason why we can't learn the techniques during a course. Here's an interesting one. A goblet made out of rope. I wouldn't uh, recommend putting any liquid in there, but you see the main knot at the top there, do you recognise that? Yep, that's only a Turk's head. A Turk's head tied in leather around a key ring. Why not? A Turk's head tied round a cork. But I warn you, this one takes a long, long time to tighten up. Another cork covered in a Turk's head tied in leather. But I'll mention again, this takes a long, long time to tighten up. One of my favourite knots, a single strand square sinnet grommet. This is rather difficult to learn, but once you've learnt it, you wonder what all the fuss was about. It's another one of those knots though that does take a long, long time to tighten up, but it's very pleasing once you've learned how to tie this. Here's another 
square senate grommet, single strand tied in leather to create a bracelet. I really enjoyed making this one. You remember back in the 60s when people had furry dice in their cars? Well, here's my variation. Uh, these are tied round cubes that are 2 inches by 2 inches by 2 inches. And boy, these took an awful long time to make. But I'm really quite proud of these. And there's no reason why anybody with a little patience and a bit of practice can't do something like this. If you want to find out more about decorative robe work, please do visit the website. And if you want to know more about our courses, please, please do email me at phil at gr8knots.com.